Welcome to the new Screen Ocean website. We've got a new platform with new functionality, so I just want to take a couple of minutes to explain a few things so that you can get the most out of our site and your research. So here's the homepage. We'll keep this part updated with info about the new content we're adding all the time. You can scroll through our show reels here on the left by clicking the up and down arrows. Down here you can keep up with the latest clips and news from our live Twitter feed. Use these links to access our social media sites on LinkedIn, Twitter, WordPress and YouTube. If you haven't already registered with us, then that's the first thing you need to do. Simply click register on the menu bar and fill out your details. These will then be sent to us to be validated and we'll email you. To make a detailed search, click advanced search and fill out accordingly, filtering with as much information as necessary. But for now, let's make a simple search. Type in what you're looking for in the search box. Click search and see the results. Searches will automatically be sorted by word relevance, though you can change these settings here. You can refine your search results here on the right. Select the media record you wish to view. The metadata for the program is displayed here, though you can switch tabs to view still frames taken at different intervals. Click on one of the frames to jump to that exact moment in the video. For records containing shot lists, you will see that located beneath the flash player. This will automatically track in synchronization as the media plays. One of the key features here is the ability to search this shot list and jump straight to that relevant point of the record. For example, if I unclick track, then type the sun, not only will I be notified about how many times it appears in that record where this occurs in the shot list, but you'll also notice yellow markers at the exact points on the media timeline. It's possible to jump straight to these points by clicking on the shot list times. So now you've found the section that you're interested in, you can make it into a clip. Simply click Add Clip and you will see this new section appear just under the media timeline. Use the purple bar to select in and out points. You can also select these as you're watching the video in real time by clicking Set In and Set Out here. Name your clip by clicking on the pencil icon. Adjust the text and then save changes. You'll probably want to save the clips you've made. Do this by adding them to a collection. Click on Add to Collection. Then select a collection you've already created or make a new one. To view your collections, click My Collections. As a default, your collections will be private, however you can make them public. Please share your clips and collections with us when making inquiries. Well that's it for now. You can view all our policies, terms and conditions and frequently asked questions by following the links along the menu bar. But don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any other queries or need any help.